A canine training seminar hosted by Manatee County Search and Rescue wrapped up today with the ultimate test. SNN's Allison Henning was there and joins us live in the newsroom with more on the story. Allison? That's right, John. Today, canine search and rescue trainers put private handlers and their canines to the test in a real-life crime scene simulation. These dogs and their handlers are one unit. Trainers, handlers, and their canines spent three days training in a variety of scenarios across Manatee County. The canine units in training are privately owned but trained to work as search and rescue dogs in the field. Units from across Florida and as far away as North Carolina participated in the seminar. Fred Mendiola with Brevard County Sheriff's Office worked as a trainer and he says the goal is to make the training as realistic as possible. Just basically working on different um, scenarios on locating lost persons, um, of course with cadaver, and also doing tracking and trailing for their live finds. A culmination of three days of training has led up to a real life crime scene scenario where canine search and rescue dogs are being put to the ultimate test. In essence, this is kind of like the, the roundup for the entire weekend. This is kind of what we're training for. This is the scenario that you're going to have. Uh, this is what you need to expect once you get on scene for that kind of stuff. Megan Wolf with Manatee County Search and Rescue says this is an ever evolving field of work which requires continuous training. There are all kinds of different um, environments that you need to train in. Uh, there's all kinds of different scenarios in which you need to train. Wolf talks about the importance of bridging the gap between private and public canine units. These people do it on their voluntary time and there's usually a lot more of them available at one time rather than just like the one or two people that might be on call for whatever local law enforcement agency is working. Wolf says organizations such as Manatee County Search and Rescue are always looking to bring in extra people. Well, Allison, is there a need for more units like this in Manatee County? Yes, John, that's because in the field of search and rescue, the more units they have available, the more they can help because it's such a vast field and they're really on call 24-7. All right. Thanks, Allison Henning in the newsroom.